I'm always talking about the importance of the eyes because having healthy eye function can literally improve many components and aspects of your overall health and well-being. One being the improvement of sleep. Now I see a lot of people struggle with sleep, either in my one-on-ones or in my corporate events. The main concern with people is usually my sleep is very poor. So today I'm going to chat about how to improve one component of your sleep via using these things, improving your eyes. Your eyes take in sight. Now, one really important component of sight is the contrast between light and dark. Knowing that it's light outside is daytime and it's dark is nighttime. When your eyes detect light, it helps to switch on a very important part of your brain called your pineal gland. Your pineal gland is a small organ that is directly centered in the middle of your brain and is directly influenced by light. They call it your third eye. And you want this very powerful part of your brain to be activated and stimulated because it helps to regulate your sleep cycles by producing melatonin, a hormone that helps you sleep. When it's dim or getting darker, the pineal gland releases more melatonin, which says to the eyes and the brain, I'm getting a little bit more sleepy. I'm getting tired. It's time to switch off. And even more important than that sleepiness is melatonin helps detoxification. During sleep, the pineal gland encourages the body to clear out harmful toxins that have built up during the day. This process of detoxification is thought to be very important to help cleanse and rejuvenate our brains, but also help to improve our vision by keeping toxic compounds away from the eyes. The pineal gland is also responsible for producing serotonin, which is a mood, mood regulator. Serotonin is higher during puberty, hence why teenagers are a little bit more feral and uncontrollable with their emotions, and adults are a little bit more level-headed or kind of know how to control their emotions a little bit more because that production of serotonin decreases a little bit as we age. Now, if you're sitting there saying, well, I can't handle shit, my emotions I definitely can't handle and I don't sleep well. Well, that is a big insight into the function of your pineal gland. Now let's look at that word insight because you've got sight here, but you've got internal insight that comes from that pineal gland. That's why they call it the third eye because your pineal gland is your insight throughout your body, your intuition and your understanding of your internal functioning, how you feel internally, externally and through your cells functional state of being, which then of course your sight externally, your visual cues externally is going to have an impact on your insight internally, your functioning of your emotions internally. Healthy vision, healthy insight. Healthy vision, healthy emotions. Healthy vision, more sleep. So our pineal gland can actually decrease in size or what happens is like a calcification builds up within the pineal gland. What causes more calcification of that pineal gland? Well, trace it back to what activates the pineal gland is light. So not getting enough light throughout the day can cause a shrink of that pineal gland. They say fluoride, taking in more fluoride builds up calcification in that pineal gland. Now, when there is that buildup there, it can lead to a decrease in hormone production, causing more headaches, irritability, fatigue, mood disturbances, loss of sense of self, difficulty concentrating and of course sleep issues. So let's bring it back to our sight. Are you getting enough light into your sight throughout the day and especially after waking up first thing in the morning after you've been in the dark? You wake up, you want to encourage yourself to walk outside first thing, get that natural morning light into your eyes because that's going to instantly produce hormones to tell your body, I'm awake. It's going to activate that pineal gland to do its job better of that wake sleep cycles. So when they say sun gazing opens up your third eye, well, of course, literally, because when you look into the sun early in the morning or in the evening, it is direct light influencing your pineal gland, your third eye. So keep your sunglasses off as well. You don't want to shade these things. You want to keep them open to experience variations of light. Now in the middle of the day, that's fine. Shade them, protect them. They also are very vulnerable things, these eyes. But morning light and afternoon light is one of the most important and healthy free medicines that your body requires for optimal functioning health and well-being. 
Then in the evening, when the sun settles down and the darkness comes in, we too should be mimicking that throughout the evening. Instead, we go and turn all the fluorescent lights on, watch the TV and stick a phone in front of our eyes, which tricks our pineal gland to thinking that, oh, I need to stay awake because it's still light entering my eyes. There's still, it must still be daytime. So instead, dim the lights down, put the candles on. You can buy blue blocker glasses that kind of take away that fluorescent harsh light. And when that darkness settles in, that's when the melatonin is secreted because the brain goes, dark equals sleep. So dark equals re a release of melatonin, which is gonna make you sleep better. All right, so I wrote this down. Here is the cycle. Your eyes are your insight, the inner functioning of your systems. Drain and strain your eyes with too much phones, computers, indoor light, and not only will your eyesight deteriorate, but your insight will deteriorate, causing mood disturbances, irritation, anger, fatigue, and unhappiness. When we feel these emotions, we're not only feeling them emotionally, but our bodies feel them physically through tension and tightness and pain, stiffness and an increase in that sympathetic response, that flight or fright. This is gonna cause that pineal gland to shrink in size, causing us to have more sleep disturbance. So no sleep also means no detox. Poor detoxification leads to illness and dis-ease within the body and feeling shit mentally. We loop back around <laughs> physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So remember no system in the body works alone. You wanna attack a mentally, mental issues, physical issues, emotional issues, we have to do it all as one thing. We have to change the entire cycle. So like I said before, what do we do to help this? We mimic the rhythms of day and night. This is one of the most simplest things you can start adding into your health regime. Put candles on at night instead of the fluorescent lights. You dim down the lights. You don't have every light on in the house. Before, maybe an hour before you're going to bed, you turn the TV off. You can read with like a little tiny dim lamp or something beside you. You get that pineal gland producing melatonin and it's only gonna do that when things are dark. Then get more nature into your day, more air, more light, more sensation, more contrast of light. Don't be inside all day long under the fluorescent lights when you're working. Go outside and get that variation of light without these glasses on. Even if it's for like a minute, 30 seconds, you're going to train the eyes to get stronger with light frequency, with variations of light. And take the shield away from that pineal gland that disconnects you from feeling the insightful information. And instead sit with you and your silence. You're in sight. Move your body, move your eyes more. You do that better anyway outside because your eyes have to scan through distance and variation of objects rather than inside where it feels closed off and tight and small. Or we're staring at a phone, which is just one variation of an eye muscle looking from here to there. And of course, to increase that pineal production and the size of it, eat well and hydrate your system. As I said before, fluoride in tap water can help decrease the size of our pineal gland. So get some great hydration with filtered water as well. And then ta-da, you do these things, these simple things, and you will get better sleep. I love the quote Dr. Perry Nicholson says. He says, you can't get well in the same environment you got sick in. So if you are struggling with sleep, have a look at the environment you live within day and night. Have a look at the food you are taking in right at this moment. What things can you change in the complete aspect of your health and well-being? But it is simple. These, it's always simple. Don't forget, nature is an unlimited source of health and vitality that you can always tap into. The more a human being gets more nature, sun, light, air, freshness, openness, expansiveness, the more the body and the cells feel light, fresh, vitality, openness, expansiveness, insight, so the function of the human body on the outside runs very well by doing simple things. Don't ever forget that. The health and wellness industry is a $7 billion industry. It will sell you tablets to make you sleep better. It will give you tests to put things on your face and breathe differently and sleep differently and 
do all the things to make you sleep better. But it comes down to simple rhythms of day and night, mimicking those simple rhythms of day and night, figuring out what parts of the brain actually deal with what certain parts of those things you're having problems with and activating those parts of the brains. Simplify things to magnify things. That has always been my motto. And I'm going to leave you with how good do you sleep when you're camping? <laughs> when you go camping and there is no fluorescent lights and there's no TV to watch and all you're watching is the campfire in front of you, as soon as that light goes down and the stars come up and you have no idea what time it is because you've lost that sense of just rush as well, you're like, man, I'm tired. I'm so tired. I'm going to go to bed. And then you look at your watch and you're like, holy crap, it's only 7.15. Be like, but I'm buggered because you're switching on those natural rhythms of your melatonin and your wake sleep cycles. And then you will get up at the crack of dawn when the birds get up because that is a human's natural wake and sleep cycles. So there you go. Something to think about and I'll see you next time.